Hello, it is I, looking like a damn factory worker. Welcome to this tutorial. <laughs> First and foremost, I like to put in my contacts just because I don't want to deal with putting them in later after I have my whole liner done because you smudge things and things get messy and yeah. Um, for the foundation base, I haven't recorded that part just because it's the same as the rest of my videos and I may just end up doing like a more in-depth tutorial about how to contour and highlight and do foundation. So yeah, for now, um, we'll just go straight to powdering. I like to start by uh, powdering the places in my face that are most prone to wrinkles and like creasing right away. So the forehead, the under the eyes, around the jawline, the laugh lines, all that, and then just dust away the excess and it leaves us with a nice clean palette to work with. Afterwards we go in with some blush and redefine the cheek contour. You're realizing that I put a little too much but it's okay we can work with it. It's makeup for a stage so the darker the better. That means the people furthest back in the drunken state of the bar can see you better. <laughs> Next, we go into the liner. I didn't film me doing the entire liner again, just besides the few final finishing touches here and there, but it's just a regular cat eye shape. So I get like a sort of mid-tone brown shade and start smoking out where I place the eyeliner on the top and later in the bottom as well. But basically it's just to, I don't want to have a crease showing basically, I want it to look more of like a sultry deep set smoky eye type feel so smoke away do the same in the bottom with the exact same color and then um, for the inner corners i take the exact same color but i get a smaller brush just to get more precision so i take the exact same color and i just go in then blend it out then I take a deeper color more of like a darker brown mixed with a bit of black and just kind of go back into the edges just to redefine then we continue to the eyebrows so when I do my eyebrows I like to start with sort of like the bottom line as you can see here it sort of shows me where the eyebrow will be placed and sort of like the shape that I want it to have as well and then afterwards I just go on in on the top and create the thickness then I lightly fill it in with a, a pale brown cream color or pomade or like eyeshadow in this case it's cream And afterwards, once I like the shape, I like to go in with a darker cream just to fill it in and there you have it. The next step is doing the white waterline. Um, it just opens up your eye a lot and further accentuates that sort of feline effect. Afterwards, I just powder it up, dust away the excess, and there you go. So for the lips, first of all, I sort of wipe a bit of the foundation that has gotten onto the lips first, um, just so I can have more pigment once I apply my lipstick, as you can see here. Then spread it around. And in drag, I like to have really big, luscious lips, so I really, really overline, as you can see. 
<clears throat> again this is not beauty makeup this is for the stage and my main job is lip syncing so you want to make sure that people really see your lips and that's my goal <laughs> them in and there you have them some little final touches some molds that I like to add then I touch up a bit of the eyeliner that I may have gotten faded from the white waterline or just some of the eyeshadow then my favorite part lashes it just always completes the look oh, <laughs> That scared me, I thought it was a spider on my arm. <laughs> I like to place them in a more slanted way and then I just take a bit of a, a smaller brush and just kind of adjust the angle. And there you are, I'm going to go put my costume on and I will be right back with a final look. this out. Can I have the whip? Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much for watching and I will see you next time. Um, subscribe and follow me on all platforms and all that other stuff that YouTubers say. You, you get the gist. <laughs>